What up guys? Jordan back at you with another video of Modern Day Muscle. It has been a long, long time. Currently at the gas station, filling her up. But yeah, it's been a uh, long, long time. I'm getting a mod done that honestly is kind of mandatory for anybody that's lowered and staggered. Um, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Yeah guys, check that out. If you don't know what that is, I guess you have to find out by watching the rest of the video, man. update you guys on a couple of things if you guys have been watching on the other channel free smoke um i'm one of the hosts on um, the fat cat hold on this uh truck is gone i don't know if you guys can hear me but yes i am on the channel free smoke um with host fat cat and garage driven we talk about car talk and we talk about other youtubers in the car game and we just do things for the culture man so shout out to them make sure you go and uh watch that channel subscribe please and uh, make, make sure you subscribe to fat cat and uh a garage a driven as well but uh yeah man like i said it has been a while I, I know i've been slacking on this channel bad um i've just been having a whole lot of ish going on man so uh you know between figuring out a new job and i got a dog i still have to get the dog on camera but that's been crazy because um getting a dog in eight weeks it's like having a kid you have to like watch every little thing it does so yeah man it's just been it's just been crazy man but I want to try and get more videos out and I'm, I'm kind of glad I had to be back because I was feeling like I wasn't really doing anything. But uh, yeah, let me um, get to filling this gas. Then we got to make that drive. If you haven't been watching my channel and you don't know what that drive is when I go get a mod done, then I'll go back and go check out the videos. But, uh, Yo, we are here. If you do not know, we are in the uh, famous garage of Garage driven right here. Yes, sir. Trying yo, they got some tools, man. Yo, real, real talk, cause I seen them. This was off camera. Um, does everybody else eat a cream cheese in a sandwich, or do you eat it on a bagel? I'm just, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Cause yes, I had a cream cheese on between bread. What happened? But it was but golden, golden crust. Golden crust bread. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. Bread yeah. Now. now, now, before he, but I said before he told me that, I was like. All right, I'll try that because going for us, Brad, dude, we we'll be let. But I was thinking it was like some, uh, you know, some shit you got from Publix or something like that. Oh, nah. <laughs> I mean, I fuck with bread like that too, but I don't really eat it like that. No. Yeah, yeah. But uh, real quick, guys, if you guys have been paying attention to his Instagram or 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 the Free Smoke channel, here it is. Man, show them the damage, bro. Damn, I'm getting an exclusive. Yeah, I'm getting an exclusive. Getting an exclusive. This is what this is, this is what happens when you park your car outside. No, <laughs> but uh, you want to go ahead and talk about it. You guys can see it. So I was lighting up some fireworks. My car, yeah, I wasn't home. So my car was in the garage for New Year's Day. New Year, I mean New Year's Eve. New Year's Day, I went to my in-laws, and uh, I remember doing it. I lit the firework, and I guess it fell off. Whatever, it fell over, and it just took off and it went like kind of like sideways and up, and then it popped in the air. But I'm guessing. When it took off going sideways, it took off, went straight to my car. And mind you, I was like, yo, I was a good ways away from where the car was parked. But it literally, instead of going up in the air, it ended up going sideways. I, I was, remember seeing it, but I didn't think it hit my car because when it exploded, it exploded in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. But I think it, it crashed, boom, and then, and then went, went off. off. Yep. Yeah, so that, that just goes, goes to show you, you just gotta be careful when you're lighting off fireworks, man, because anything can happen. Yo, that's when my cars are normally in the garage. and I, I shouldn't have been took it down there yesterday, but I was like, oh, let me drive my car. No, I get it. It's yeah. just, no, no, no. It, I mean, at the end of the day, stuff happens, but it, it's just crazy because it's like, I know especially like with firework days like July 4th or, or New Year's, I, I know damn sure my car's inside, but it's just crazy because like, like you said, you was super far away and somehow it still managed. It's still came over, bro. Like, yeah, it's uh, crazy, man. Uh, but I don't know. It's going to have to be uh, um, people paying this dent removal, though, because it's not scratching them. So. And the car, look, good thing is the car is not even wet sanding and buff, so there is layers of clay coat there. So, you know what I mean? So we're going to, um, I'll go ahead and get it fixed up, man, and get the car wet sanding and buff. That dent got to go because I can't ride along with dent on my car. Especially, on, no especially on the driver's side. Yeah, this car has no dent, bro, so nah. 
Yeah, shit does happen. It just, I know how much you care about your car. So I know when I rolled up and you was looking at it. It's basically a brand new car. Yeah. This is a brand new car, but yeah, guys, let's see it from the back real quick. I really love, the, I really love how wide the stripes are. The stripes yeah, are. Yeah, the stripes oh, I didn't even, I didn't even peep that. It even goes over. Oh, the camera. Yeah, yeah the camera. That's dope. That, that's, that's a nice detail. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. That's nice, man. The OEM looking. I know. Now I'm looking at everything, bro. Checking everything. <laughs> well, that, that, uh, it just looks like bugs that night. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, we got a uh, mod going on that's uh, kind of sort of mandatory. I wouldn't say kind of sort of. It's mandatory if you're lowered or if you're lowered and have a staggered setup like me like i'm on 275s in the front and then uh 315s in the back here and what's happening is is um well let me back up because there's a lot of things that have happened and i haven't been recording like that so long story short i had to change up these tires here um if you have been watching my videos um i got a video posted um, way back where um, some kid popped my tires and I was able to salvage two tires from it. These are those old tires that used to have tire stickers on them and I took them off. Because my old tires, they were wearing so bad on the inside, they were showing belts. So what's happening is, Paul, when I'm riding, the wheel is bowing out this way, right? Yeah, 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 it's can embered in. So, so basically we're installing these uh, control arms that I have in the trunk or whatever you take them out but um adjustable control arms. yeah adjustable control arms so that my uh, wheels will no longer do that and then after that i need to immediately go get a lineup an alignment not a lineup a lineup is illegal oh no, i, I need said, a lineup right now wait did I, I just say a lineup back it up and after that i need to immediately go get a lineup 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 what bro what are you talking about man <laughs> all right Alignment. <laughs> we will back it up though, because I do want to see if I said that. But damn, I really said a lineup. Yeah, a lineup. Damn, yo, I'm tired. Yeah, cut, uh. <laughs> I need that too. Me too, bro. I need that too. I was involved like a three week. I just don't like doing myself. Yeah. And once again, this weekend, busy weekend. I couldn't get it done, so it's what it is. Here, guys. Here it is. I haven't even opened them yet. Megan Racing. So it's the right one. I didn't fuck up. It looks like the right one now. <laughs> well, this is for the left side, but uh, obviously I took up you know, this side of the box. But anyway, so pretty much what it does, it just replaces just like factory. And now you're able to adjust this back and forward. So once you slide this back and forward, that changes the angle of the wheel. Mm -hmm. So obviously the more forward it is, the more the wheel's out. The more in, the more camera in the wheel. So that's what this is made to do, slide back. And, and would you say if you're lowered, um, or staggered like me. Yeah, I would recommend this, especially if you're having, a, if you're running a staggered setup and you can't rotate your tires. I would recommend these. I recommend them for most people that's low in their car now, man. It's just like, yeah, it makes like, sense so that you save that, tires. Yeah, a lot of people having that issue. Yeah, you know what I mean. So to avoid having that issue, you might as well do it. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, guys, here's the stock control arms right here. These ones, you can't really adjust like that. No, you can't adjust, period. Okay, you can't adjust them, period. Correction. <laughs> you can see that difference right yeah, here. Yeah, see, there's the difference. That's adjusted right here. So, everything else is standard on the back end. That's it. Yeah. The new one's up in there already. Passenger side is done, inside. Yeah, so you guys can see it right there. So basically, this has two bolts under the hood. Let me explain to people. So below, what you're gonna loosen is your, uh, well, you can take the strut out if you want to. I just loosen the sway bar end link, the brake line, 
the upper, the upper ball joint right here, the control arm. Well, the upper control arm ball, I guess you would say, not the ball joint. It is technically a ball joint. That is good. And then um, under the hood, one 18 millimeter here. And on the opposite side of the strut tower, there's another one. So I had to take off the ground on the car right here. Mm -hmm. So I gotta put these back still. One second. You don't tighten these fully until the car's on the floor, okay? So this bolt right here and the one opposite side, you don't tighten those until the, you, the car get on the floor and also these three right here I did loosen because you got to pull the strut up the way just a little bit. So all this will be tightened when the car's on the floor. And you want the suspension to be set as the car is like sit, not like, you know what I mean? Not like in yeah, the air, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. want it to be like in the position where the, car, where the weight is on and then that's that. Word. Um, oh, that's why I came over here for the wheel. Simple, man. Simple set. Yeah, man. I wish I would have had the old wheels to show them. Cause, bro, when I said the belts were showing, oh, like here, man. bro, it was bad. I was like, damn. Thank God I was working from home because I ain't drive the car like that, man. When I seen that, I was like, yeah, nah, not happening. <laughs> A few minutes later. Yo, the car is done. It's back lowered on the ground now, as you can see. So now I need to go and go get um, an alignment and then I'll be back in business. I won't have to worry about uneven tire wear. Like I said, again, um, if you're lowered or you're lowered and staggered set up like me, um, definitely recommend the control arms. Um, the ones that I got is Megan Racing. Here, let me show you guys real quick. This is the, um, the, out, the outer side of the box right here. Megan Racing. Um, are, these aren't the only control arms that you can get for these cars, right? No. Okay, so... They are. They got S, S, SPC also. It's another brand. Okay, there. well, there you go. There's another brand. So, roughly, um, I paid, I think, about uh, $250 for these. Um, like I said, if you're, if you're staggered or um, lowered or lowered and staggered, um, getting... The control arms, in, in my opinion, is a must because I wish I would have had a picture, man. Um, like, you see the inside, you see the inside of this tire right here? Like, all of that, imagine all of that was just belts. Like, it was ridiculous. I, I didn't drive the car until I got up the new tires put on. And then after that, I didn't really drive the car like that because I wanted to make sure I got put these arms on here. But yeah, man, um, off to the shop. We yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close out this video. Once again, um, I, I realized that I passed the 2,000 market subscribers, so I greatly appreciate that. Make sure you go and check out Garage Driven's channel as well, and Fat Cats. And also, too, uh, if I said it in the beginning of the video, but I'm going to say it again. Um, free Smoke, um, the host is me, um, Garage Driven, and Fat Cat. We, we, we do car talk. We talk about uh, what other YouTubers is doing in the culture. Um, we go live every single Sunday at 6 p.m. and we drop a video every day. So be sure to check that out as well. Uh, I also will have it as a feature channel on my uh, on my YouTube channel as well. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and wait, close wait, up. wait. Before you click off the video, make sure you go and hit up our Instagram page. It just launched. It's free underscore smoke underscore official. Make sure you go follow that on Instagram. It's gonna pop up on the screen. Now you guys can click off.